Hi, and thank you for your question. So uh, you'd like me to show how to solve this equation or this question uh, where we have a silver ring that contains 1.1 times 10 to the 22 silver atoms. How many moles of silver are in the ring? So we're given is 1.1 times 10 to the 22 atoms of Ag, that being the silver element, and we want to know, uh, find the number of moles. And when we're looking at setting up this equation, um, we're looking to convert from atoms to moles, which is just a uh, one jump in terms of conversion factors. So we're just going to use one conversion factor. If we were jumping from atoms to grams or grams to atoms, we would have to find moles first, but we don't have to in this case. So when we're setting up our equation, we always start the equation with our given, which is 1.1 times 10 to the power of 22 atoms of silver. We're going to multiply by a conversion factor that will give us moles as our answer. So we're going to look at atoms to moles as our conversion factor and we know that 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms is equal to 1 mole. So that's our conversion factor that we're going to use. Uh, and the question is, what, which do we put on top, atoms or moles? Because we're trying to find moles, we want that to be on top as well, so that the atoms will cancel out on the bottom. So whatever unit you want to cancel out goes to the bottom of the conversion factor. Whatever unit you want in the answer uh, stays on top. So that means we're going to use one mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms. That's how they show it in the example. And now what we're going to do is we are going to multiply 1.1 times 10 to the power of 22 times 1. That's going to give us 1.1 times 10 to the 22 moles divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23. And then we're going to divide that. And this might be where um, you're having the problem. You, you did multiply, or sorry, you did divide 1.1 divided by 6.022. So you do that first. 1.1 divided by 6.022 gives you 0 0.183. And then you're going to divide 10 to the power of, sorry, 10 to the power of 22 divided by 10 to the power of 23. And whenever you're dividing uh, powers of 10, you just subtract the uh, denominator from the numerator. So you're going to have 22 minus 23. That's going to be your power, and that will be in moles. So you get 0 0.183 times 10 to the power of 22 subtract 23 is negative 1. And then if we're going to use proper scientific notation, we have to, um, we need to move this decimal over 1 to get to 1.83 as in its as is in the answer in the book, but that also means we have to add on another exponent here because this is the part that students often find a little bit challenging. If you look at this number here, if we wanted to put it into um, just a number form instead of multiplying by 10, a power of 10, that negative 1 means that the actual number is 0, uh, 0 0.0 0.0183 because we have to move this decimal over one more. Oh, I'm a little bit off there. Getting ahead of myself. 
So that would just be 0 0.0183 because we're moving the decimal place over one more. So that's what the actual number is equal to. Um, so if we want to write it in correct scientific notation with just one number in front of the decimal that's greater than zero, that means we have to move this back two positions which gives us 10 to the negative 2. So it's actually 1, 2 in, the, um, in this direction to get us to the, uh, the, back to the original number. There we go. So you have the right answer. It's just how you came up with the exponent um, is where you're, you're finding that you are going wrong. So it does help if you change the number over to uh, from um, multiplying by 10 to the power if you can change it to um, a decimal number and then uh, that can help you figure out how to put it in proper scientific notation with um, a number greater than zero in front of the decimal. If you have any questions on this uh, let me know and I'm happy to do some more examples. Bye for now.